log into your router's web admin page and go to the status page, then refer to usage reports on the left. We'll start by taking a look over the real-time data. By default, you'll see the total upload and download data for all WAN since the router was installed. Below that you'll see data since the last reboot, with the option to look at individual WAN connections. The most obvious data here of course are the graphs showing the upload and download rates in real time. With Speed Fusion running, we have an aggregated transfer graph along with one for each WAN connection. Click on the arrow beside Overall to see common services and their current usage. Now let's take a look at the hourly usage. Again, all WAN connections will be shown by default. This is the first option that allows us to see usage per each client connected to the network though it can only be seen with these default selections. We also have a graph showing the total, upload, and download values again. Below this graph, you can click on an hour and see the clients connected at that time and their usage for that time. If we adjust the connection or direction above, we no longer have the option to click on the hours. Next is the daily usage, which is going to look very similar to hourly. Data will go back 30 days. Once again, we can view our client and PEP VPN usage when all WAN are selected, but not individual selections. Last on this page is monthly usage. Again, we have the same data, but limited options to view client and PEP VPN usage. This data will show the days of the current month along with the previous month. An extra step you can take to monitor your usage and ensure you don't exceed a specified limit is found under the dashboard and details section of your WAN connection. For PEPLINK Balance users, you'll find this under the Network tab in WAN. Look for the Bandwidth Allowance Monitor setting. Clicking on the blue question mark here will explain how this works. Once you enable the feature, the system will automatically alert you that the values may not reflect the same as what is shown from the Internet provider's side. Click OK to continue. You have additional settings to fill in here now, starting with Action. If notifications are needed, you can set up email alerts under the System tab. By default, the option to disconnect when the usage hits 100% of the monthly allowance. If you deselect this, you're given the option to reserve the usage for management traffic when 100% usage is reached. This is dependent upon you having VLANs in place to isolate management or important devices on the network. See under Advanced or Network for CoS configuration as well, which stands for Quality of Service. 